I, I do. I genuinely hate this. But you have 10 years of experience. You have all these project ideas. I don't have all that experience. I don't have all that project ideas. Well, hey, why don't you just slow down there, Twitch chatter. Day one, zero, like first day in college, what did I do? They said, hey, we're programming in Java. So I said, okay, that's cool. I want to make a video game. I want to make a car drive around. I'm going to figure that out. So what did I do? I went and looked up how do you make, how do you draw to the screen with Java? Oh, I learned about Java applets. Okay, that sounds pretty exciting. I started making Java applets. I didn't know shit about physics. I've never done physics in my lifetime. I just made up my own physics so it could feel like you're driving around and swirling around and all that. I just kept doing it. The screen kept on blinking. So I started looking around like, why does the screen blink when I start drawing? Oh, I need to do something called the double buffer. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to do that. Yeah, I sh literally started off like Ruth from the Ozarks. I didn't know shit about fuck, but I did it. I just did something that was interesting to me. W was my physics completely just bogus? Absolutely. And guess what? Three weeks later, as physics started getting into it, and I started learning about the kinematic equations and everything and vectors and all that, I created vectors. I started doing the dot product and started doing the cross product and started doing all the different things to learn how to do that. And then I actually created real physics for my car to drive around because I could do that now. Now I, I acquired the knowledge and I turned knowledge from a class that's useless into something that is good. Yeah, but you're just a genius. Not everyone's like that. I'm not a genius. There's nothing genius about that. I Googled and searched and read my way into it. That does not make me a genius. If drawing a triangle on the screen and updating a position over 60 times in a second makes you a genius and you don't feel like you can do that. You're in, you're like, you're genuinely an actual, like maybe you actually are smooth brain. Okay. There's nothing about that. That's genius. I didn't use vectors. I just said X and Y and, and I, I put everything in global scope and I just, I just did it. I did it for the sake of doing it. I tried so hard and it took me forever to do it. It took me weeks to make something drive around, but I did it and I read and I read and I read and I read. I hate this idea that people do this all the time as well. You say these things like, oh, but you're a genius. I couldn't do that. Why are you selling yourself so short? Like why sell yourself that short? Like, why not just try instead? Why not just build what you want to build because you want to build it? And, and you know what? Fuck everybody else. You just build the thing you want to build. And guess what? It's going to be horrible. It's going to be awful. It will not get you a job. But it is the first stepping stone into getting a job. Because it overcomes all these problems, all these fears people have, all these things that these hangups people have where they're like, I can't do that. I could never, like, how would you ever make something drive around on the screen? I didn't know anything, okay? I just knew that time passes and I'm going to update something. I didn't even have proper time, okay? I, I just had a while loop that used Java sleep, it would sleep for like, what, 50 milliseconds or something like that? I divided something by 30? I didn't know nothing, right? And so I just kept Googling. I didn't know how to create a variable. So I went and looked, how do you create a variable? Okay, X, I need X and I need Y. Okay, how, what's the next thing? Okay, loop, for loop. Okay, we'll just sit in the for loop and we'll do this. Okay, how do I draw an image from my computer onto the screen? Oh, okay, I got an image, load this thing, and then I got to draw it. Okay, I can draw it at this X and Y. Okay, how do I listen to key presses? Okay, move the key presses right here. Yeah, make a box move, Thor. That's what I did. That's it. I just chose an image instead of a box. You just got to do it, okay? I, I am not I am not some genius. I'm just a regular person who's willing to do something that's uncomfortable for an extended period of time. Like, I know that I'm smart enough that I remember things really, really well. I have a good memory, and so that helps me a ton. And I have pretty good kind of logic-solving problems. So I'm, like, really good at seeing A, B, C, D, and I can go, okay, if I can update X, therefore I should be able to update X in a loop, and I should be able to draw the thing. Like, I, I can apply basic logic, and I think I'm pretty good at that. But I'm not like Einstein. I'm not Gauss inventing how to sum 1 to 100 when I'm, when I'm in grade 3. Right? Like, that's actual genius, okay? That's what genius looks like. This ain't genius, okay? I would have never figured that out. You could have sat me in a room as an adult, and I think that it would have taken me days to figure that out, in which Gauss did it when he was in third grade in, like, no time. So...
Just remember, there's a difference between genius and just having hard work. You want to hear a story? Here you go. Here's a story. I went to college. I took pre-calculus. Pre-calc. Not calc. Pre-calc. I failed. I went back to college. I took pre-calculus. I failed. I went back to college. I took pre-calc. I passed. I went to summer school to catch back up. I did Calc 1. I went to Calc 1, day 1, sat in class for two hours, then went to the learning center and sat in the learning center with someone willing to teach me for four hours. Then I went home, practiced those problems for four to six hours, slept, woke up, went to my two hours of classes, went to my four hours of help, uh, help center, went to my home and did four hours again, did it day after day for six weeks. I didn't feel genius. Stop trying to convince Chad to work hard. That's how, that's like literally how I did it. And guess what? I went from the person that had to go to the help center four hours a day to by the end of the class, when we had the final, it was a two hour final. I finished the two hour final in less than 30 minutes and got the highest grade in the class. The next, the next person in line, which was my friend Jay, finished the test in one hour and 30 minutes. I went from the person that dropped out and failed pre-calc twice to being the best person at our school in Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 4. I was the only person out of 400 to finish the Calc 4 exam because I just grinded that shit. Like, that's it. I just grinded it. I was the only person to answer all the questions. I'm telling you this story because often people think there are people who are really good and they're geniuses. And there's, and there's me I'm not a genius. I'm just a regular I'm just a regular guy. I could never be that person. I think I'm just a regular guy. I don't think something special. Okay? The only difference often between me and you is I'm just more willing to keep doing it when other people aren't. I'm just a 10x regular. That's it. Why are you so involved into us, Prime? <laughs> um because dude, I just real talk, I just absolutely hate the fact how people talk today. It just makes me so angry. It just, I just, I just, I just like loathe it. So many people are like, ah, you shouldn't, dude, you can't program more than six hours in a day. That would just be like, it's just, you, you don't learn as well. You're right. You're absolutely right. You don't learn as well after you've been doing it for six hours. But you know what? You still learn. You can still improve yourself. You're right. The first like two to five hours are like the good times. Absolutely on your team. But that doesn't mean you should stop. Like, what are you doing? You know who's you know who's much better than the 30-hour-a-week guy? The 80-hour-a-week guy. I'm not saying be the 80-hour-a-week guy, but maybe for a portion of time, you have to be the 80-hour-a-week guy to really get there. Can't stop, won't stop. Never stop stopping. You know what I mean? Wait. Never stop. Wait. I think I got that one backwards somewhere. Work smarter, though, right? No. 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 When you're learning, you can't work smarter. I absolutely hate that. Like when people are like, just work smarter, not harder. It's like, no, bitch, you don't even know what you're doing. How are you going to be working harder slash smarter? You don't even know. You have no clue what's right. How do you work smarter? Oh, you start an XJS app and, and work on your CSS tailwind skills. Okay, sure. Sure, buddy. I just, I just hate that phrase. You know what? When you're beginning out, work hard. Okay, because here's the deal. You'll get wiser as you work hard. And at some point, you'll be able to work smarter. And when somebody, when you first start off, says, oh, you need to work farter, uh, uh, harder or uh, smarter or not a uh, farter. You need to work smarter, not harder. Remember, bitch, please, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay? You don't know what you're doing. So work hard. Okay, guys. Okay, I, I misspeak once, and you guys, shut up. But a real talk, like, when you don't know what you're doing, work hard. You will literally never go wrong working hard. You will go wrong limiting yourself, especially in those early years. Those early years are just so consequential. Like that first two years of you learning to program is more impactful on the rest of your, uh, on the rest of your career than anything else. I'll take head patter. Why? You gotta say why. If you're gonna tag me and L take me, it better be a good one. If that L turns out to be a lovely take, I am. I swear I'm gonna swift kick you into a timeout. Give it to me right now. You, dude, you 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 bet this better be a good one, head patter. I just type L take from time to time. There's no reason. <laughs> Ch chat! Chat! What are you doing? Goodness gracious!
I am so sick of these Chad level chatters. Okay, guys, I want the person that actually thinks I'm wrong to say L Chad. Okay, can we make like can we make like a gentleman's agreement here? Okay, that that we say L take when we think L take, so that way I I can pull you up on the big board, and like like we can have a discussion. Because when I do this every single time, I'm like, what's the L take about it? I don't know. I just wanted to be here. I just wanted to. I just want. I just want. I just wanted to enjoy the moment. It's just like it just makes me want to. It just makes me want to kick him. Now that's an L take. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Come on. All right. You know what? The name is. I hope you enjoyed this little moment. A Jen.